Hello friends, welcome back to another episode, stream, thing of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Yes, this is part of, like, I don't know, 18, episode 18 of our stream thing. Fuck if I know, dude. <laughs> I'm still, like, working on... I think I released episode 3, finally, of Final Fantasy VII today, so uh, that's really going to date this video. <laughs> I should uh, <laughs> I should uh, go ahead and rename my uh, stream to Justice for All Stream Thing. Stream Thing. Nice. <laughs> do it. Well, that's what you called it. That is what I called it. Do it. Do uh, it. Do but it. my keyboard's all the way over there. I'm a lazy son of a bitch, okay? God damn it. I'm already tired. <laughs> Leo, stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm taking this as like a personal attack, okay? I just came out here a given time and I'm feeling so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, you have a Maya to save. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, she's wait, okay. no, she's she'll be She'll be fine. Don't worry about her. Oh, wait, she has no burgers, so maybe. Um, Pearl... Okay, Pearl is our Maya replacement for this, so we don't actually need to talk to her. Oh, I guess we are in investigation still. Huh. Oh, that's right. I was gonna check Charlie. Okay. Uh, we were able to be mad on guard. We didn't know who did it, which is very important. Okay, trial tomorrow. Okay. All right, so you said we're checking Charlie? Oops. Yeah. Okay. Check Charlie. There we go, okay. Yeah. Do a thing. No, I don't want to be watching the stream twice, thank you. I just want to... Boom, that? Nope, that's not what I want. How about this one? There we go, okay. Okay, there we go. Wait, what do you mean disconnected from chat? What the hell are you on about? I think Twitch has been doing that lately, so... Okay, there we go. Welcome to the Dementus Six Faces chat room. Woo! Okay! Anyway. Oh, hi, watering! Ah, uh, it's okay. I already did that. The watering can! Where are you, Mr. Watering Can? I'm gonna find you. <laughs> you can't hide from me. You can't hide forever. Uh, I gotta get back to my annual streams of Resident Evil 5. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Pearls gets too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. I hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the hotel. There is a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Actually, the crime happened at the recently completed hotel in the center of town. Oh, the Gatewater the Imperial hotel. hotel. Oh, it is a separate place. Hmm. Just how far are they going to expand their empire? Huh, okay, so it is a different hotel. There'll be Attila the Hun of hotels. Right? Alright, the poster. <laughs> Attila the Hun. <laughs> you like that one, huh? I did. This is a Nickel Samurai, right? Y yeah, that's right. Mr. Nick! Please take care of Miss Maya and be her Nickel Samurai, alright? Uh, how about no? No, I'm just kidding. He just I suddenly binges, like... He just, like, suddenly binges the shit out of it. Like, okay, there's no kissing scene, right? Right. I don't want to give her any more material to work with. <laughs> he needs to, like, keep Pearl from amassing a collection of doujins or something. <laughs> All right. Or making her own of, like, Ah, Mr. Nick and Mystic Maya! Sees her fanfiction.net account. <laughs> <laughs> Her, her AO3. <laughs> all oh, right. Oh, God. Where did Pearl learn? Where did Pearls even learn all this? I know. This is, this is not the kind of... Eight-year-old should know. All right, listen. You know, she was by herself for a while. Of course, now her, her mother is gone. So uh, she had to do something in all of her spare time. I found some books in the restricted section. A lot of interesting pictures. One of them was called the... Karma! Oh something, God. I don't remember. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, difficult I don't know looking... Why my Sorry, God. Oh no, I was gonna say, difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row, they mock me. 
Oh, do you need to look something up on one of these law books, Mr. Nick? I'm on it! Wh which book is it? Which book do you need? Um, I can't read these hard books, and, um, I can't reach them either. I it's okay, Pearls. Really. Oh, poor thing. But no. But no, it's like... I don't know why it is that Mother would never let me go into the restricted section. There's some really interesting stuff in here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. You see, I my, I got dyslexic there for a moment there. I misread it as, uh, since I don't have time to sit at my desk, it's usually unclean. And uh. I'm like, see, I, I'm sitting here like, see, I have the opposite problem. Because I sit at it so much, it's really friggin' messy. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, I cleaned up for you last night because I couldn't sleep. Um, this is hour 37. Right? I have I really bad insomnia. I learned to count to 37 today, Mr. Nick. Oh my god. Alright, should we go to the detention center or the hotel lobby? Uh, uh, move. I had to figure, uh, uh why not detention center? Yeah. It's a one-stop shop, so. March 21st, detention center, visitor's room. There All he right. is. <clears throat> oh, the lawyer dude. So what'd you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. Well, I've already told you everything I know, dude. Okay, but, like, what if you didn't? How right, about my attorney's going? badge? Right? Uh, do I know like to- okay. Oh, like I was- mine. I was checking the- I was examining stuff first. Oh, right. Uh... This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet, you could forget he was even there. If he's- if he wasn't watching everything, he's pushed up against the wall, yep. kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. That's the same. The camera's probably a camera- camera, and Matt on- Mr. Ungar keeps yeah, looking at it. Yeah, that's the same. Yep. So you showed okay. him the badge? Yeah. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Uh, just like, oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying. Yep, same thing with the Magatama. Nickel Samurai, same thing. Dude, like I told you, I don't know anything about that press conference. I leave that kind of stuff to my manager. What about this transceiver, though? So, why are you carrying around that transceiver? I wanted to ask you about it. And why do you do everything it tells you to do? You know, the messages it sends you, dude. On second thought, he probably doesn't have anything to do with Maya's kidnapping. That's a secret. Okay, whatever, dude. Then why ask me about it, bro? <laughs> um, dude, this person looks like a member of my fan club. Beep, boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, bop. Hold up. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the fan club present, okay? Okay. Okay, same thing with pearls. Same thing with He has something Gumchu. new for what's his face. Um. Will? No, not Will. Oh. Oh, does he have something for Will, though? He does. He's like, oh, do you remember my fan club? Oh, uh, I think it's the same thing about the whole mentor thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sign autograph form. Okay. Anything for Lada? Nope. Juan. Oh, okay, yeah, he has something new for Juan. Look, dude, I didn't kill him. I mean, the Nickel Samurai kicked the Gem Ninja's butt, right? So it's not like I felt threatened by the likes of him. Being ra rival sounds like a sad way to relate to another person. Whoa, there are many anime boys who will very much argue that point with you. Right? <laughs> right? Pearls. My ex was my rival. <laughs> it's like, I hope he comes back so he won't be my ex anymore. <laughs> I loved him more than anyone else I've ever- more than anyone I've ever loved before. Exactly. Miss Maya! Especially Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Maya. <laughs> I'm such a handsome devil. Uh, um... Yeah. I'm way good at sports, karate, tennis, judo, soccer, kidnapping, football, hockey, murder, fencing. Wait, what was that last one? <laughs> hockey? No, before that. Karate? Never mind, it was somewhere in the middle. 
<laughs> Just like me on Saturday nights. Oh my god. <laughs> this little girl knows what I'm talking about, right? Up top. She's just like... What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dude, <bro. laughs> no wonder I'm so popular. Uh, um, yeah. You're also good at sitting in a jail cell, Mr. Popular. I don't think anything about, about Old Bag, yeah. What about Old Bag? Oh shit, is that my Nana? Nana, dude, how I, are you? <laughs> I thought she was dead, dude. I thought she, like, took her own life after, like, killing her lover or something like that. Oh my god. I don't know. She looks pretty good for a dead chick. <laughs> she looks pretty good for a dead chick. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we could talk to him again and ask him about what happened in the victim. I don't know if it'll be anything actually new, but it might be good to just get them checked off again. I think we have to, because I'm pretty sure if it's not in your office, the usual uh, what to do and any ideas, then it's still required dialogue. Okay. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room to blaze. I had a post-ceremony stage show to do. I mean, was it smart to blaze before a show? No, but I'm gonna be in costume. No one's see my eyes anyway. <laughs> so I was in my nickel samurai costume. I was like elbow deep into my eighth bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> I had no Cheetos around, dude. It was a bummer. <laughs> and you were alone the entire time? Uh, just me and Mr. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> That's my dragon, bruh. Damn, is he on like Ecstasy 2 or something? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Who the hell snuffle up against? Why does that sound familiar? Uh, no, that's not Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab is Coo Sila Goop to Goop. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Uh, anyway. My manager is running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the pref con press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, all right? But I was totally dressed for it anyway. <laughs> right. That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's why I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karita was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. And from that big dude in the coat who was like, Oh, you come with me, pal. Yeah, right. And then his, like, then his, like head started to, like, turn into a demon or something. I don't know, that might have been the drugs. He was manhandling me something hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. He just like he's still a little stoned, so he's just like laughing at his own jokes, like he's talking to someone else, like <laughs> hard. Dude, exactly. Nice. Oh, high know. five, bro, and then he high, it's like self high fives himself. <laughs> he just, he just like high fives the glass, just like high five. Oh, because you can see his reflection in the glass. Oh my god. <laughs> like oh, high five, bro. Yeah, nice, dude. <laughs> Nick is like, <sighs> like <laughs> he's just already to... so done. Like, do I really need to be here for this? Yes, just think of Maya. Just think of Maya. Oh my god. Okay. And that's when Detective Green Coach showed up. He searched me, and then, out of blue, the dude arrested me. And I'm like, dude, these are not the kind of handcuffs I like. Do you, do you have, like, the pink fuzzy kind? <laughs> dude, or at least, like, get some good quality rope. I'm not <laughs> as into that sort of thing, but you know, fuck, I'll make do, bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> But All just right. know that I am not wearing a cage again. Been there, done that. No, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can see poor Gumshoe being like, I definitely I don't, don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I don't get paid enough for this. Thing. <laughs> poor poor get paid Gumshoe has seen shit. some shit, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've seen so many bloody bodies before, pal, but this, this just isn't worth it. Oh, man. I don't know. I, I would think being an officer, like, uh, even a detective, like, Gumshoe, Gumshoe has seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh... Like, you know, I, I've seen some really messed up shit, pal, but, but I don't know. I think this guy might be where I draw the line. Or at least I would if I could if I couldn't afford my instant noodles anymore. Right, if I could afford to. <laughs> Alright. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita, what sort of Dude, for as I've told the tabloids, we're not lovers. God. It's got nothing to do with anything, dude. We're exes, yeah. okay? It's different. <laughs> dude, just cause like we got drunk and kissed like one time. That's it, brah. And sure, just cause like I maybe flirted with him, maybe told him I like it up the butt, but that doesn't matter, brah. That means nothing. <laughs> it means nothing. Oh. <laughs> I like, I didn't invite him or anything. <laughs> Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try and make a Jammin' Ninja movie, even though we all know it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, just because he called me a twink that one time, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? I only like to be called twink in bed, okay? <laughs> And we've never- he and I were never in bed, so it doesn't count. Yeah, we were just, you know, against the countertop one time, okay? <laughs> God. And yeah, sure, whatever. I, uh, maybe I let him, like, play with my bum a little, but... Totally no homo, right? No homo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, every time he talks about it, it just, like, escalates further and further. Yeah, it just gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think we're done here. Uh, right. Poor Pearl's just innocently staring in the office like, I don't want to go back, Mr. Nick! Aw, look at her, she's adorable. Just All think right. of innocent little Pearls. And little not oh, Matt on guard, who we are turning into just the worst. Right. <laughs> well, not the worst, but just highly uncomfortable to be around. Yeah. We're really uh, good Mike. at that, unfortunately. Huh? I said, we're really good at that, unfortunately. <laughs> You're just making characters more uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> well, than they already are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus. March 21st, Gatewire Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Hey, what are you thinking I'm doing? Come in without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you. What is going on around here? Motherfucker, uh, uh... how? Um... I heard poor Juan was killed, is that true? I wasn't aware that was something a person can do! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it sounds like you got it! I did. <laughs> it's a bad rerun is what this is, another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's! Oh, I especially loved him as in, in his A.B. days. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's 21. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, three years ago, okay. he was really hot shit. Oh, my God. I have five copies. You want to see? No. <laughs> Dear Lord, no. <laughs> ah, you know, I, tr I tried that once myself. No one tuned in, strangely enough. Color me shocked. <laughs> Color me shocked. Uh, nope, I can take that joke further, but I won't. <laughs> I, I was well, like, I how much? How much? How much worse can we be? <laughs> Apparently, I'm, much worse. I'm tired. <laughs> Jesus. I do, I do not hold back when I am tired. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Why, oh why, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? 
It's always been that way ever since I was a little girl at elementary school. The last answer is fine until Chad my turn to occasionally die. The other kids start calling me Queen Reaper. I swear it wasn't me. Whoever in the name even spells dies. Blah, blah. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Speaking of the whole Queen Reaper thing, actually, I uh, highly recommend a manga series that's ongoing right now. Uh, just called, like, I forget, it's like the main character, the female protagonist's name, and the Reaper Son or something like that. Interesting. Um, very adorable. But it's just like, it's like this elementary school girl who, like, is constantly getting bullied because her face is kind of scary. And she just, she's kind of used to it. She's used to being called the Reaper. She's used to people keeping their distance and mocking her, like, oh, it's the Reaper, touch her and you'll be cursed or whatever. Dude, little kid, like, transfer student comes in and he's like, wait, she's a Reaper? You'll get cursed? That's so cool! They just, like, starts hanging out with her and he gets mocked. He's like, what do you mean? You get cursed? You get, that's awesome. You get, like, superpowers. And, like, he starts hanging out with her and she's just not used to positive attention. Aww. And so it's like she's blushing every chance. She's like, oh, I love hanging out with her. She's super fun to be around. Being, hey, being with the Reaper is so damn cool. Obviously not the word damn thrown out there, but um, then they're like, oh, but like, what are you going to do? She's uh, so scary looking. He's like, no, she's not. She's cute. And she's just like in the back, just hands over her face, blushing so hard because she doesn't know how to handle this. It's just, it's a downright adorable series. Aww. I love it so much. <laughs> Highly that, recommend. It vaguely reminds me of like a horror-ish anime. I think it was called like Another or something. School Days. No. <laughs> not School Days. <laughs> no. Um, no. <laughs> Try and forget School Days. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, it was like a, like a horror-ish anime or something, and I don't remember everything, but it's like this one girl with the eye patch, like an eye patch, ends up being cursed, more or less. Either she's dead, or something, but it's like the school's haunted, and so there's like dead students in the classes. It's really, it's really weird, and I've been meaning to watch it again. It was actually really interesting, but I think it was called Another. Oh, it sounds familiar. Yeah. Probably what I read a long time ago. I was Here, in. Give me I was in like a um, group in, when I was in college, and that's what we would do every once in a while when we were done playing games or something. We would just put on a random anime, <laughs> and that was one of them that we ended up watching. Okay, okay. Um, I'll be back in like twenty seconds because this is starting to hurt too much, and I need to take care of it. Oh, okay. I know I gave like no context for that, but I will when I get back. Okay. Be careful. Don't die. All right, what do we have in our court record? Well, this is a good excuse for me to drink more water. Oh, and check my phone game, because I haven't checked it, like, all day since this afternoon. So much better. Okay, and headphones on. You're nah, right. it was. Yeah, it was. It's stupid. It's just for some reason, my this is gonna be. I don't know how gross this is, but the bottom of my feet have been peeling the past few days, and I had one up like just below my big toe on my left foot, and uh, I, I've been sitting here just like at first just because it's like it was almost like a hangnail on my foot. And I kept like slowly peeling it until it hit a point it wouldn't go any further and it wouldn't tear off. It's like, this burns like a mother, just break already. And it's like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna put it off. Ow. Because otherwise it's just bothering the crap out of me and hurt. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm in it. I apologize for the TMI. Anyway, humph, don't push me, boy. Uh, Mr. Nick? I, uh, I couldn't hear everything she said. Because she was talking too fast. Miss Old Bag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky haired smarty pants! Rat -a -dat 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 -dat. Just. I love how she's the security officer for this hotel, and yet she's a. you know, like a space invader. I just. Yeah, why? 
Maybe she's like dressed for the event, like a Sentai villain or something. Maybe it just, it's just so random. I love it. Which with the voice I've given her or the voice most people give her, she's definitely got the voice for a Sentai villain. Right? That is exactly like what she seems like. All right, let's look at the stage. Stage first, okay. It's the stage they were going to use for the post-ceremony stage show. After the show, there was supposed to be a press conference, but... Even Mr. Engard himself didn't seem to know, huh? How does the person who's supposed to give a conference not know about it? It's almost like apparently someone else was going to be in the costume to give the press conference. It's almost as if someone's going to try to start some kind of scandal. Exactly. I am... Wow. I'm actually kind of upset they haven't considered that possibility yet. <laughs> Nick doesn't watch TV. He doesn't know what goes on in Hollywood or... I guess not. Makeshift Hollywood. I, but you would think, you would think, with the Nick Steel Samurai it. case, and the fact that it's referring to it as canon, right? He would possibly entertain the idea of, oh, hey, someone else could be wearing this costume if the actual actor doesn't recognize or doesn't remember having that. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. It's just, it's silly. But anyway, well, it, I'm sure he'll realize it eventually. Surely lightning can't strike twice. <laughs> Surely Nick can't be this stupid. <laughs> no, I'm saying, now like, me on Nick the other hand. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like, that's Nick's perspective. Like maybe someone else wore the costume. Nah, surely lightning can't strike twice. Uh, well, maybe he's just as dumb as I am, because apparently that's how I am. <laughs> Go, no. oh, that's that's the real answer? Nah, it can't be. <laughs> 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 it can't be that convoluted. All right. You, uh, I picked the, the cameras. These cameras oh. must belong to the press that came to cover the conference. They're all basically doing the same thing, staring at the empty stage. All right, these chairs. Seats for the spectators of the post-ceremony show and press conference. But it's too bad neither event is going to be held now. Okay. May I just say that the two completely different fonts for Nickel and Samurai bother me? Yeah, it bothers me too. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even a graphic designer and I just look at that and I'm like, uh. Right. A lobby uh, with a grand staircase always feels enormous. But right now, the only thing filling this enormous room is anxiety about the murder. I really hope nothing else bad happens here. Oh, don't worry. Get me in that lobby and it'll be filled with anxiety about all things that aren't murder. Right? <laughs> Alright, looks like that's it. Um, I guess we'll oh, show God. her our badge. She's angry. <laughs> yep, she's she's angry about nothing again. I don't have anything to say to the liquids like you. Grr, she's clamming up like the old clam she is. <laughs> Ew. Stop, Nick! Please don't ever refer to her as Old Clam. Blech. Please! Anything would be helpful! Well, then have I tell you my measurements! Oh god, no! <laughs> um, no! That's okay! Really! Please don't! She really, she really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. Uh, Magatama, nope. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna have anything to say about anything. Probably not until we get to uh, one. What do you have to say about the transceiver? Oh, that's the thing I gave to the bellboy when it was that I kidnapped Maya. Oh, shit. Right? And <laughs> yeah, she ha doesn't have anything to say about Maya, pearls, gumshoe, willpower. Yeah. About Lada. Anything about Juan? Nope. Okay, really? yeah, that, pretty much, that pretty much seals it. So she's in full on shut up mode right now. So we have to talk to her before she'll say anything about anything, it looks like. She won't even say anything about herself. Unless we ask about our measurements, apparently. Ugh. Ugh. Information I don't need. <laughs> Thank you, old bag. Alright, tell me about the victim. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder, and only recently did I finally find a star that makes his heart go but dump again. I don't know what to say. I agree. Makes my heart go but dump, and makes this press go schlick. I don't know. 
God, oh, no. God, no. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Maybe we do need to not stream tonight. My, my, my brain was like, what the hell kind of automatopoeia do I go for just getting wet? And it's like, by the time I realized what I came up with, it's like, what the fuck did we just say? Uh. Alright, nobody heard that. This didn't happen. <laughs> Stream's canceled. <laughs> oh, God. I ask you, where does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I'd watch your words. No one's ever going to get away with saying anything bad about my Juan. But I haven't said anything. My Juan Ton. Oh my god. <laughs> my little Juan Ron. If I were to go the Harry Potter route. My little Ron Ron. Oh, yes. Fucking what was her name again? I forget. I don't remember. I don't know. She was annoying anyway. <laughs> um... Uh, well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be, and why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was young, man, I was so beautiful, even flowers and field blush. But it's nice as I press flowers or wear the stars or beautiful poems or... Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay. I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Youngins today. So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lotta. Oh god, there's a conversation I don't want to hear. Lotta talking to Oldbag. Right? Oh gosh. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. I don't know anything about that. I was too busy stalking him. Oh wait, shit. <laughs> I was here getting ready. Getting ready for what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, Naruhodo. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you were to put Narusagawa from Love Hina into, uh, the Lamb of Oz with Dorothy's dog, would that be a Naruto? Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad. If Naruto were to accidentally stub his toe, would he go, Naruto, do Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I saw those two yesterday. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. But. Huh? But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. <laughs> I get the feeling that thing comes through Discord. What's wrong with it? What do you mean? The, the way, uh, did you hear my pearls just now? Yeah, it, it it came through and then it did cut some of it off. So yeah, Discord oh, was okay. like, Discord sort of had it, then it was like, nah. I thought for sure it was just, Discord's gonna just nope the whole thing. Yeah. I saw the most important mo moment of the night. Okay, what you witnessed? The, the most important moment? You don't mean. That's right. That unguard fellow getting high as a kite. Oh. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, then no, that's normal. <laughs> you use these days, doing all sorts of drugs, trying to take the pain away. Back in my day, we just suffered. Back in my day, we had cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit was legal. <laughs> <laughs> and morphine. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have anything. You know, there was this whole thing about the prohibition and all that. Like, how old are you? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Never ask a woman that. <laughs> Oh, my oh God. so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful little shit. <laughs> you when you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Get down <gasps> on your knees and beg. No, we're just gonna break her. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Damn, lady. 
She really knows how to shut up when she needs to. The murders last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then what murder isn't? Please don't stray onto another tangent, please. Did you just call me a stray? If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Present? Like what? I'll tell you this, you're gonna love breaking her locks. Genuinely love it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna guess we don't have what we need right now. Oh no, we don't. March 21st Gatewater Hotel, uh, Viola Hall. Okay. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. Just imagine it. Oh, I can imagine it. <laughs> no, I'm like, imagine if Nick actually just said that. Like, just imagine it. It's not on screen, but... Oh, right. <laughs> I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Probably not. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. You can't roll up your sleeves. That's on your character sign. That's the next character. What? <laughs> He's like, guess we'll roll up our sleeves and try. It's like... No, Nick, you never roll up your sleeves. That's Apollo. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we what? don't know. In the anime, he does... No. <laughs> he probably does, actually. I think I've seen him. Actually, no, he does. I remember, because uh, Dual Destinies has actually an some animated cutscenes. And the opening, you actually see him without his jacket. And I think he has rolled up sleeves. <laughs> Which then does make me think then that he's wearing a uh, suit jacket over rolled up sleeves, and that just sounds uncomfortable. That yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> All anyway. right, lobster. Is there a rock lobster? Oh god, why do I do rock this to myself? Lobster, I hate that. I hate down. that song. I love that song. I, I can't stand the B52s. The dude's voice is so obnoxious. <laughs> rock lobster. <laughs> yeah, oh my. <laughs> I love it. Uh, like, the girl's got a good voice, but the dude can just shut up. <laughs> it's what people think of these streams. Oh my god, that's not true. <laughs> you get more people in your chat than I do, so, you know, that has to count for something. <laughs> uh, we had this table last night, didn't we? Yes. I really gorge myself, but not as much as Mystic Maya. Yeah, Maya has like eight stomachs at this point, so. I never had meat before. I crave more. <laughs> That's when you learn that all the Fae women actually have a huge appetite, especially for meat. And that just explains Maya right there. Yep. <laughs> That's why Morgan never let her have any meat. <laughs> you know, it's it's really interesting watching like a lot of anime how excited everyone gets about meat and then you think about it and then you remember that japan is an island oh that's true yeah so most of their stuff is like seafood or like vegetables yep so meat is incredibly expensive and really rare so no wonder it's exciting <laughs> For me, on the flip side, however, I just, whenever I'm reading manga and they start, like, getting really excited about describing food, to me, I have, like, ho I'll, I'll admit, I have a horrible sense of taste. My taste buds are very dull. To me, food is just food, and I'm a very picky eater, and I don't like most foods. Oh. So it's just, like, as soon as it's that they uh, start describing making food, I'm scrolling, because, like, I don't care about this. Oh, no, I... And especially I... if you're... Especially if they're throwing seafood into it, it's like I do not care. <laughs> I don't this like seafood. A... Hold on, I got it. There was a random dog hair stuck to my water bottle. I don't have a dog. <laughs> I do not know it's a dog hair then. Fine, it could be a cat hair. It's an animal hair. I was just thinking maybe a, an intruder's hair. <laughs> it's Santa Claus's hair. It's the Tooth Fairy's hair.
What other mythical creature breaks into your house? Santa Claus, too. Sorry. Are those two the only ones? Easter Bunny hangs out in your yard. I think um, the people who lived in this apartment before me had pets. That or his leftovers see. from my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, her cat. So, I don't know. I feel anyway. like there's at least one more uh, mythical character who breaks into your house. You got Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy. Who else? Oh, when you left, I was sitting here like, oh, it's Santa Claus's hair. Or maybe it's Tooth Fairy's hair. And I'm like, there's a third one. Someone else breaks into your house. It's not know. the Easter Bunny. He f f leaves crap in your yard. I don't know. I, have no I was really happy then. I wish I could make you smile again, even for a second. Aww. Aww. Guys. All right, this centerpiece. Sure is one luxurious hotel. Almost to the point of gaudy with how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. Oh, Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like that last year? <laughs> okay, how about this table to the far right? They haven't cleaned up all the food yet. There's a sad feeling hanging in the air now that the party is over. Okay. I'm happy then, and Nick's just like, ah, uh, you're reminding me. You're starting to sound like me when I think about my teenage years. Oh, what, for the, like, leftover food, or? No, just Pearl's being like, like, we were just here yesterday. I was happy then. Oh, yeah, like, that's true. You sound, like, you sound like me reminiscing about teenage years back in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the stage. God. The award ceremony was held on that stage just last night. It was really fabulous. It just reminded me of the circus for a second. I wonder if everyone is all right. Okay. I heard that Barry Big Circus just recently started holding performances again. I'm sure they're all fine, Pearls. Granted, they're short a trapeze act, but... Right? Meh. Chandelier. Well, let's be fair. They've been short a trapeze act for, like, the six months that... Um, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So... Yeah, actually, we were talking about that case earlier um, when I was in Lucina's stream. Um... Because, like, I guess most people hate that case because of the, the motive. Yeah. The people I, I mean, know just hate it because of the music and the obnoxious characters. Which, see, I like again, the music, and I don't mind the characters, but I can kind of understand why people would hate it because of the motive. Yeah. Because, yeah, I gotta be honest, he did kind of overreact a little too much. But at the same yeah. time, if, you're, if your brother has basically been lying dead... More yeah, or less, he's like, he's been brain, brain dead, dead for six months, and the girl that caused it thinks it's a joke, more or less, because she doesn't understand. I can get where, you know, in a really bad headspace, <laughs> you might yeah, think that, to that, kill someone. <laughs> yeah, exactly, as we talked about. It's like, that yeah. would grate on your nerves so much over time, and you... I, I mean, I, I, I guess I would say, yes, I blame him for snapping, but it's like, it doesn't surprise me that he would snap. Exactly. I think it, I think it is believable enough. Yeah. Because some people do some crazy ass shit for no reason. Right. And and he had at least a reason. <laughs> anyway, so the the chandelier that is such a beautiful sight. Oh, that's you. That's such a beautiful sight. Can the I, chandelier. Can I try again? Yes, but I can't believe it. Hello. Oh. Hello. Can I be heard? Yes. Yes. Hello. All right, I'm going to try this again since you were talking over it. How's it going, dude? <laughs> Perfection. I'm so happy. Yay, thank you. <laughs> How's it oh, going, dude? <laughs> How's it going, dude? Yeah, I, I went, entered the call and immediately played it, but Colin was talking over it. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> rip. All right. Uh, yes, but I can't believe it. I can't believe that such a terrible murder happened under such beautiful lights. It's shocking. Hmm. Pearls, please don't talk to me about shocking. Right. <laughs> There's a grand set of doors over there. It's the doors Maya followed the bellboy out of, only to disappear. If only we had all gone together. Then we could all have gotten kidnapped. Exactly. Although, let's be honest, if it was um, all four of us that had gone, we probably wouldn't have been kidnapped. 
Because despite the fact that Will is a giant teddy bear, he does look at least a little intimidating. And he's, like, even if it's only choreographed fight scenes, dude's gotta still know some moves to be able to pull off said fight scenes. Right, but I have a feeling that he would, he'd be the type of, type of person that would freeze. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking now. Yeah. Unless maybe because, like, he also, because he is such the gentle giant, I could see him, like, oh, Lil Pearl is in danger. Protect. <laughs> If anything, he'd probably, like, pick her up and, like, carry her away as he's leaving. Yeah. Because he's going to get out of there. But, yeah, you're, you're right. He probably would just, like, grab someone and make a run for it. <laughs> His Papa Bear instinct will probably kick in at some point. <laughs> All right, the hallway. Yes. <sighs> March 21st, Gaywar Hotel hallway. Oh, hey, Lana's here. <laughs> hey, yeah, he is. Oh, hey, howdy, hey. Yep. Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta. Hey, Mr. Cop fella, the thief showed his face. What? What? what Arrest him, put him on trial, find him guilty, give him the death penalty. W what's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? Looked here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. There so why don't you just hurry around. up and give it back to me, you creep? There aren't even any mountains here! Right? Um, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E it's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Y your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are! Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble! Huh? <laughs> Nick, that pun was horrible. Mr. Nick, I want to go home now. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Lotta. We didn't steal your camera. All right, 102. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Juan Corita's room. So that's the scene of the murder, I reckon. I thought something had gone on that night, but I didn't ever think it was a murder. Oh, it was murder, not a murder. All right, it's Teddy Bear. I understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what are stuffed bears doing here? I didn't touch them. <laughs> Wasn't me, I tell ya. I give you my word. Why do I get the impression Lotta helped herself to one of them? She probably did. Just okay. the cutest little son, bitch. Right? He was looking at me with damn big old eyes, and I just, I had to take him home with me. <laughs> He's in my hair right now. <laughs> it's my hammer space. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see. Record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers companies. home would be hard, I think. What? AV companies. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Old bag. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, too. So I was a nice enough gal to lend a helping hand. Secretly, of course. I have a feeling one of these days I'm going to end up defending her in court. Yeah, probably, <laughs> Nick. Nick sees that one of the flowers has, like, a like a card in it. He picks up from Old Bag, turns over. Ugh, why an Old Bag headshot? Oh, God. No, I don't need this in my life. I don't know. Oh, he just, like, he, he just immediately throws it back. <laughs> All right, to Mr. Ungard from the Global Studio staff. Ah, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too. Something like to Mr. Wright from all your grateful clients. All of them, just all at once. Exactly. <laughs> just a little gift basket. <laughs> <laughs> just a tiny ass gift basket. <laughs> with some maybe soap. gift baskets with wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just got like some assorted soaps in it. Yes. All right, there's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Matt Ungard's room. So Mr. Ungard was here during his break, right? That's what he claims. Hmm, the crime scene. If he had wanted to get to Mr. Corita's room, he would have had to pass through this hallway. Nick, that reminds me of him to ask, what does getting baked mean? Oh my god. Don't worry about it, Pearl, it's not important. <laughs> mm. 
She's like, does it have something to do with banana bread? I like banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There are toilets in each room in this hotel, but since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. All right. I guess that's everything. Okay, okay. All right, let's start presenting shit. All right, Lotta. Look at my badge. Um, do you know anything? Uh, I've told you how many times now I'm a journalist. I've got so much info running laps in my head, I forget things here and there. Please don't get so worked up over this. Ha! I don't care if you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. That's this gal's motto on learning youngsters. Okay. Um, Maya Tom is the same thing. Salt of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> press conference ticket. Hey, what's that? A press conference ticket? How come I, I ain't got myself one of them? P please don't direct your anger at me. Why in Tar Nations wasn't I invited to that? How Why come someone on the bottom of the popularity chart like you got the info, but not me? Info like that is worth nothing to y'all, am I right or what? What? <laughs> you, you were saying something, but I was I was on a roll, so... <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> My terrible southern accent <laughs> killed uh, whatever actually, it was. Actually, I think I might have said something like, Why would you be on... Why would you need to know? Right. Like, why would someone invite you? It's true. You're like a nobody journalist. <laughs> oh, poor Lana. <laughs> <laughs> I know she really, she really needs to find something to get in there. She's, she's trying though. She's not good at her job, but she's trying. <laughs> oh God, no! I was just about to say, like, try applying for the advice column in your local paper. It's like, wait, no, don't ever give advice, Lotta. Right. A uh, little man Tate's here. He says, hello, humans. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello fellow human. <laughs> hello, fellow human. I am also human. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, too, am human. Yes. All right. Hello, fellow organic life form. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't really... Are you going to stand there and take that, Mr. Nick? Oh, I didn't I didn't get to read the... Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, is that the kind of person she thinks I am? Are you going to stand there and take that, Mr. Nick? Okay. Okay. That's, a, that's on the transceiver. Uh, yeah, she didn't have anything for that. Okay. She got something for Maya, though. Now that I think about it, she ain't with y'all today, is she? Um... She's a spunky one. You shouldn't have been letting her out of your sight. Who knows what she's up to now? Starving, You're one to probably. talk. She's probably starving. Aw, she probably is. She has thing. no food in. She has no food in any of her twelve stomachs. <laughs> oh God! It keeps increasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh man. All right. How about pearls? I just want to say sorry to you. For? Well, I really, absolutely thought you were the murderer. Huh? That's not even on the list of things I was expecting an apology for. Right? You know, last time, that thing with Maya Fey. Wh what But why? I mean, you're all worked up, you know? Right. Oh, did that not come through? Yeah, it didn't come through, but that's okay. Oh, okay. All right, Dang Lotta, it. that was very insensitive of you. How dare you accuse the eight-year-old? <laughs> Given that my client is a five-month-old baby, he could not have picked up the gun. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but what if he dropped a bullet from, from a the top of a building? <laughs> killing her with gravity! <laughs> it's, it's amazing just how accurate that fucking video is, isn't it? Uh, is that a character from the third game? Because I can't wait to see that guy. No, it's good. That, that dude and the um, the bonnet lady are completely original characters. Okay, got it. Okay, that's good. Alright. This kind of hairstyle is pretty hard to get, you know? Hard to care for, too. Just the other day, I ran my hand through my hair to fix it up, and suddenly, out pops this dollar coin. That's got to be like hitting the jackpot. Christ. Uh, wow, it's really... 
What a deep conversation that was. I didn't get that far yet, so I was just like rushing through everything to get caught up. I'm like, shit, didn't realize she was already all the way on Lada. Oh, that's because she didn't have anything else to say about anyone else? My bad. I didn't realize. I, I hit gumshoe and just left it there for a long ass time until you start talking. I'm like, this ain't the line I'm on, what? Okay, she has something for Juan. I don't really care for them heroes or whatnot. Oh, I see. You like the bad boys. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and shows they got for kids, those adventures are just plain old boring. Who now, needs a Harry Potter? Who what? needs a Harry Potter when you got a Draco Malfoy? Oh my god. <laughs> um, they're teenagers. Right. So? Oh god. <laughs> I'm from the South, you know. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> now, adults, we get more caught up in messy, sticky, real situations. Even me. Oh! I don't need to know about any sticky situations with you. Yeah, yeah, no, nobody needs to know that. Sounds like the tax getting what I'm going with this. W wait a sec here, don't go around getting her mixed up in things like that. <laughs> Damn, here, Lana. you know what, little one? You can go ahead and have a drink. Let me just pull it out of my hair here. There oh you go. God. She pulls out a flask. <laughs> <laughs> you like this Jimmy? <laughs> this, uh, this smells horrible. Nick's, Nick's just like, Lotta, this is alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. shit. <laughs> what? Like, I've been drinking since I was four. <laughs> Start them super young. That's what I say about learning youngsters. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Old bag. This old granny. Ah, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of hers as if it's my fault. Kept babbling how she won't forgive people who write trash about her wand. Uh, yeah, we sort of got into a little fight, you know? A little fight? Knowing those two was probably more of a blabbering contest. I was glaring at her because it's... As much as I hate her voice and her attitude, damn, she looks like me when I was younger. Oh my god, she probably does, let's be real. <laughs> I'm actually looking at the two of them, it's like, hmm. Hmm, the hair, turn it gray, okay. Yep. Forehead's big enough, I... Exactly. Anyway, okay, I guess this sucked to our normal. All right, camera. So you lost your camera. It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh, but didn't you just say you bought for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. In the I back. Made... Huh? In the back. Yeah, exactly. In the back. <laughs> With no security cameras. <laughs> and my brass knuckles. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, I see. You went the violent route with the story. Yeah, because God. I liked that better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Her story pisses me off. Huh? Her story pisses me off. Whose story? What? Lada's. About how she got it. About how she got it at a reduced price. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Just how just how society has forgotten what customers always write as mean. Yep. Yep. Mm. All right. Customers are great. I made this itty bitty scratch on it, and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to, and was real mean about it too. He don't made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when that I lost might... sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. That Lotta... I took a hit off of uh, one of Matt and Guard's uh, joints, and woo, I don't remember the next two hours after that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can hold my liquor like nobody's business, but uh, ooh, you give me one of those, and damn! Right? I was stoned out of my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything for my big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. It probably is. Very right, Lotta's... expensive item valued at $1,600 stolen around the time of the murder. All right. So what happened? Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. 
Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ungod was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went... Oh, you sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever a lot of heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon course like no that means I'm was. always looking for the perfect shot. Hmm? I said like no one ever was. Yeah, right? <laughs> like no one ever was. <laughs> okay. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Okay, what's your big scoop? Lada, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around? Oh, hold on. What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? Uh-oh. Uh oh damn it. Now we gotta unlock her, too? Okay, well, at least <laughs> she only has two of them. You get a Cyclock, and you get a Cyclock. Everybody gets Cyclocks. Oh, man. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know? Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Haha, <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. Glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your eye rule smile. Miss... I'm tired of this. Let's take her out back and threaten her. <laughs> right? Mr. Maya comes first! Morality I'll get the brass knuckles. <laughs> Morality has no place when Mystic Maya's life is on the line! Oh, man. Alright, well, damn. Okay, so now we got two people with locks. So I cannot see now. half of my ship leave this world. Also, she's my cousin. Alright. What? All I got out of that was leave this world and she's my cousin. I said I can't see half of my ship leave this world. Also, <laughs> she's my cousin. <laughs> right. Can't so, ship uh, um, Nick and Maya if Maya's gone. <laughs> unless I could channel. Oh my god. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. That would be horrible. All right, so we're just not gonna think about that right now. But I went ahead and I showed Lotta her, oh, her camera. I showed Lotta her camera. Oh, uh, blah, 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 yeah. camera. <sighs> and I just bought that camera. Who did it? The thieving rascal. Please don't look straight at me while you're saying that. When I find the bugger who went and done this, they're gonna pay with a bullet. And if you do that, don't expect me to defend you. As she's saying that, she's, like, grabbing you by the collar. Right? It's... <laughs> okay, um... Do we want to start in guard's room or Corita's hotel room? Huh. I will say this. I actually recommend Corita. For one particular reason you'll see as soon as we get in there. Because it's not the crime scene, hopefully? No, it's a crime scene, but no, I, you'll still see. I recommend it. Okay. All right. That's fine. Corita's hotel room. Oh, my God! Teddy bears! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, look at them all! Oh, he really <laughs> likes teddy bears. March 21st, Gaywar Hotel, Carita's Hotel Room. Mr. Nick, where are we? We are surrounded by teddy bears. I think we're in Winnie the Pooh right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Mr. Juan Carita's room, Pearls. Is this the audition room for Winnie the Pooh? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Mr. Corita! The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you! It's so, not you! What? So, what's happened? The kidnapper, has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Unguard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, the pal? Hanging in there? Oh. I love you this eat not. You, you, you eating okay, pal? You eating right? <laughs> you, you get enough sleep last night? I'm here for you, man. Aww. <laughs> He's such a sweetheart. 
I love this man. <laughs> I just want Maya to be all right. Like, one of the only characters I'm not corrupting in this playthrough. <laughs> exactly, because because we must protect Gumshoe. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> he's too he's too pure and innocent for this world. <laughs> <laughs> did you read next line or yeah i did okay we don't have a lot of time left but i'm gonna help you as much as i can pal can you do that even if we want to look around the crime scene just this one special circumstances white pal i mean what's another 20 cents off my paycheck i don't care more important things on the line I'll even tell you everything I know, but you gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the wine here, pal. It always is. Thank you. Oh, that's why right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, Will Missy. Wow, well, you're giving it to me? Thank you! Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't watch you get washed in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a, a map! Da 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 da! <laughs> That's great, Pearls. <laughs> Wait. I'm thinking. I've heard that tune before. Mr. Nick, where have I heard it before? It's from that game that we played last week. <laughs> uh, the Legend of Zelda. Zelda. Zerudo. Zawardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> Zawardo. <laughs> Zawardo. <laughs> The Legend of Re! Oh, <laughs> right? <God. laughs> Re! <laughs> I'm not what gonna read say, because it's like 10:30 p.m. <laughs> what did you say, Robbie? Nothing. I've just only repe uh, repeated or reacted with "Oh my God." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Hotel guide Did map added to the court record. Hotel guide map map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. Okay. It's just like when we were playing Legend of Zelda. I right. couldn't read anything then either. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have such an expansive vocabulary for an eight year old and yet I can't read? Exactly. Alright, I want to look at these bears. The giant Which bear in one? the back. Look at these bears. The giant right? bear in the back? Okay. Look at these bears in here. <laughs> Holy shit, there's tons of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, there are a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's edition, stuffed teddies, plastic bottles. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There isn't a, there's even a few in the trash can. Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies. Time to bear with all these problems. Growl. <laughs> I don't uh -oh. think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. <laughs> uh, okay. I was waiting for you to get to see that uh, that random cameo. I just want to say the the fact that Gumshoe here just did a bear impersonation. Just reminded me of another um, another detective who is like the same body type as Gumshoe, who did the same thing. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the anime though. It was like it was Spirit Detective, and then the main character's name. Yu Yu Hakusho? No, no. It was a. It was like some like uh, just some 13 episode. Like okay. Also, just so you know, that wasn't Gumshoe that said that. Randomly, Nick thought of uh, uh, Mo the Clown. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm not watching the stream, so I just heard that voice and assumed it was Gumshoe. Yeah, I mean, why, um, understandable. Why the hell would Mo suddenly be here? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong, Mr. Nick? Trauma. Trauma. Trauma's what's <laughs> wrong, Pearl. <laughs> All right, let's look at this laptop. It's so messy here! Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are electronic things in here that I've never seen before! Hey, Miss Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please? Okay, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. I know what a watch is. 
Oops. For a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. Ouch! All forgot right. I can't really take the uh, sarcastic route here. Right? Uh... Suitcase oh, has something. Oh, wait a second. This, this one bear in the front apparently has something. The one sitting in the chair. There are all sorts of things- Oh, it's the refrigerator, but I hovered over the refrigerator. Okay, whatever. There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carriage is and the manager spawn are both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> They're all oh, vegetable juices. Want. Right. What? I was just I'm quoting a thing. Just ugh, another Belmont. Oh. I hate these guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh, there's a bee. Can I just catch him? Huh? Can I just point out that V8 would almost be perfect if they didn't put beets in it? I love beets. I don't oh, like V8. Oh man, they're good. I don't like V8 either because all I can taste are beets. I've I've looked at the ingredients and it's like I like everything in here except these dang beets. I just don't like the mixture. It's like I'll take I'll take tomato juice instead any day. Oh yeah, definitely. I love tomato juice. If it wasn't for my acid but reflux. That's, but that's but that's fruit juice, not vegetable juice. Mm. Man, I used to love V8, but that get, that kills my acid reflux. Something awful. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it's I'm okay. It's like why I can't drink orange juice either. Because sworn tomato is confirmed vegetable. That's why it's also in V8. We've had this conversation, Colin. It is classified as a fruit, but gives the nutrients of a vegetable. Correct. Oh, that's why it's in V8. Okay. Yep. I I'm glad also the way you said that you've uh, you've just come to understand that his memory is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. It was actually one of our more earlier conversations, so... Okay. Oh, there's a beet, some ketchup, and ball strawberry jam, too! Also, this... Luba. What is this? Lufa? <laughs> no, uh, no, I said lube. Oh. Why the fuck would lube be in the fridge? I don't know. I'm That's why I'm like, what? <laughs> Maybe red was his favorite color? Beets aren't technically... I mean, I guess they are kind of red, but they're more of like a like a purplish red. Anyway. Yeah. Suitcase. It's a suitcase. There are so many things in it that I bet it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. Do all stars get your game on, go play, pack too much stuff like this, like Mr. Karina? I guess okay, possibly. We, we can slide, by the way, just to let you know. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, there's you, even more bears. You can <laughs> slide. Alright, how about this um, plate on this table over here? Right, it looks well, like Mr. Karita had dinner last night. That was a nice break. Everyone took everyone took f some minutes to get dinner. Now we're going to raid. Oh, oh, okay. So have I fun. just thought I'd spend that time with you guys. Aww. Oh, well, thanks well, for glad coming to by have and spending time with us. Yeah, have fun in your raid. Kill them all. Yes. <laughs> it is. It's not going to be great because this is the this is notorious for being the buggiest raid in the game. Oh no! Is it Glitch is it buggy in existence. terms of like not? No, that's what's going to happen to us. <laughs> what were you saying, Lindsay? Sorry. I said, is it buggy in terms of not giving you loot or just like? No, the, the mechanics are not, like, perfect. Like, sometimes we'll do the right step, but the game doesn't think we did, so we all die. I hate that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the worst. All right, well, good luck to you anyway. I hope it I mm -hmm. hope it goes well. <laughs> the game yep. gives right. mercy. <laughs> it's merciful <laughs> today. All right, you guys have fun. All right, you bye. You too. Bye-zles. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye <laughs> All right. That was nice. Yeah. Okay, so I said it looks like Mr. Karita had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the awards show last night, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage only, oh, excuse me, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. 
Well, I mean, if he's got to keep his, if he's got a particular diet that he's into, right? He, he might not eat all down. that extravagant food. If he has to trim it down like a Hemsworth. Yeah. All right, let's look at the bedroom real quick. Um. So that's a bed. What? So that's a bed, right? Yep. It's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so so. Big beds must be a rarity for her. Yeah, because she probably sleeps on a... Um, futon. Yeah, on a futon. That's um, one thing, man, is it's like... Sleeping on a futon is rough. It really is. And yet I gladly did so a lot as a kid. Just like, I'm going to sleep in the living room tonight. I... Just, mm. And yet all I did was just... It wasn't even a futon. It was just a sleeping bag. Just put a sleeping bag and a pillow. Ta-da! Well, yeah, I used to sleep on the floor in my living room, but we had a nice, comfy carpet. It's even nicer oh, yeah. now. So, and oh yeah, it was a car yeah, it was a carpeted floor. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, carpet carpet I have here in this in this apartment though is actually really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, whenever I get my own place, I am definitely going to pay for better carpet. <laughs> Anyway, All right, let's so look at this broken glass shit, of... Glass or guitar? The glass on the um, vanity. Nice. Okay. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Yeah, the juice, I don't like it much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. Nice deductive reasoning. <laughs> right? But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? All right, wine glass added to the court record. Wine glass found next to the victim. It's filled with tomato juice. No sign it's been drank. Oh, that was me, pal. I just got so thirsty and you know you're limited on options, so. Right? I'm so broke, pal, and this juice, I didn't want to let it go to waste. Like, I mean, I just, the entire bowl was just, it still, still looks mostly full, even though, even though I filled up a wine glass. That's magic right there, pal. But, no, like, it's just shit that's just gonna go to waste if no one drinks shit, and it's someone who can barely afford anything as it is, I just, I couldn't stand for it, pal. In before it's actually poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I don't uh, want I built up an immunity over the years. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you, go dump, you go dumpster dive enough times, you eat some, uh, you, get, you learn how to avoid food poisoning. Oh my god. He's out there with all the homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor they're, Gumshoe. They're the, right, only yeah. who, they're, they're the only ones who truly understand me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the cosmetics and stuff on the floor. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Karita fought his assailant. Where are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? Nope. <laughs> you got a problem with that, Pearls? You being right? judgy about it? <laughs> you gonna judge me about my lack of knowledge when it comes to flora? <laughs> Alright, how about the, the empty guitar case? This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar's not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? Did you know I've actually been practicing guitar? I can almost freaking nail a stairway to heaven. <laughs> watch me... uh, Watch me pull off this sick rift, Mr. Nick! <laughs> 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 she just <I> starts shred <laughs> shredding. <laughs> I also want to say, I can shred with the best of them! Exactly. <laughs> That's when, like, get her a guitar and gum. She's like, oh, I can accompany. Uh, just starts pulling off, like, perfect Johnny Cash. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Burning Just, ring of fire. Yeah, I was say, oh, uh, me, 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 me. I fell into a burning ring of fire. And everyone was just like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> when did this turn into a karaoke studio? My, this is like after the case is all over. So like Maya's there and she's just clapping along. Nick is just sitting there with like some grape juice in his hand. Like, 
end me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what, what have I... What choices have I made in life to lead me to this point? <laughs> Just like, what? I mean, they're good, but why are they good? And why am I here enjoying them? What? How did we get here? Right? <laughs> but Mystic Maya, she said the brand red guitar was a German Ninja signature item. That's true. So where is it, Mr. Nick? I don't know, Pearls. We huh? need answers, Mr. Nick! <laughs> This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water in the case. This is water, isn't it? Don't touch it, Pearls. <laughs> 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 All right, guitar case added to the court record. Guitar case found next to the victim. Empty. There is some water, but only on top of the lid. So the vase, the flower vase probably fell while this was closed. So the guitar was taken afterwards. That's my guess, anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I think, think that's everything we can examine. So. I think so. All right. Gumshoe, um... have our badge. Yes, Gumshoe, look at our badge. What do you know about this? Um, there's nothing special I can tell you about this, pal. Look, pal, we don't have a lot of time. Why don't you show me something more important? Mr. Moncomer saw me here like this. I'd have to switch sides real fast. Oh, you can switch sides. Come hang out with us, Gumshoe. <laughs> no, I think he's saying more like, I'm helping you as much as I can now, but if she comes here, God, I'd have to be all gung-ho about saying, fuck you. Oh, nope, okay. you can't swear. I have to be all gung-ho about saying, go away. Okay, got it. <laughs> all right, so he has the same thing to say about the Magatama and the Nickel Samurai conference ticket. And the radio. Oh, whoa, oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I skipped through it, too. Ah, uh, damn it. Hold up. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna watch my stream. Um, no, just go back. I, I I had skipped through it, too, so... Well, no, I don't know... Did you skip through the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh... That's your present from the kidnapper, huh? While you're talking, it sends and receives radio waves. We could trace that. Yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is! He uses radio waves, huh? I got it! I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal. Aw, thanks, Gumshoe. By the way, what did you ever do with my metal detective last year, pal? I, I, I kind of had to file a report and went missing. Actually, the metal detector ended up in the evidence locker in the DLC case. Oh, did it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was there in, uh, in the background, and if you examine it... Um, I think Nick mentioned something about it because Gumshoe's in there too. And oh, that's yeah, cool. It was really it was really neat. Continuity, I like it. Yeah, and the um and the fishing rod was in there too, but of course not the dog because, you know, Aww. dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> Living thing. You can't store that in the evidence locker. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of right. camera. Nope, not a How about uh, a Oh, here man. we go. So about this wine glass. Okay. Ah, oh, sure you know shit, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? Hey, I like to do my... No, no, I can't even lie. No, actually, Miss Von Kami noticed it first. Yeah, Pearls noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's a wound. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the thousand meter dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she'll be chasing us with a whip, too. She'll she'll catch us like Indiana Jones uh, style. <laughs> yeah, just like a, just around the leg. Like I could have gone I could have gone around the neck. But you know, I can't. That would be assault, I believe. No, for her, it it um it was more fun to watch you fall over. <laughs> Flat it was on more your fun face. To <laughs> it was more fun to watch you fall on your face and have to look at me with all that dirt on your face, rather <laughs> than just the strangled look in your eyes and the uh, dirt on your butt. <laughs> and your broken nose. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> fun fixing that. I could try vipping it back into shape if you like. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, damn. 
This is just what I heard about, but that's the German Ninja signature item. The guitar case? No, not that. What you take me as? I mean the guitar inside, of course. But the guitar is missing! Yeah, we look for it too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring the most famous item to an award show. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case after all. It's almost like someone probably stole it! Oh, look whose profile's been added. There she is! Alright, Maya. <laughs> I'm sorry. For what? I really want to help you look for her, pal. Mr. Detective! If anything happens, let me know, okay? I want help in any way I can. Aww. I love this man. Did you, did you, uh, do the I'm, thing? I'm here. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, which one are we checking, Pearls? Yeah. Yeah, now, Mother suddenly came and is like, do you not hear your dog? I'm like, yeah, she's dreaming. Oh. She's like, I could hear her all the way upstairs. I'm like, yeah? She loud when she dreams. Oh. <laughs> hey, little Missy. Listen good, okay? Okay, what is it? Don't do drugs. Oh, <laughs> Don't ever pick up a whip, well, a whip, okay? Don't even think about it. Huh? If you ever find yourself thinking you want one, try to make do with a good slap to the face. Got that? Slap the push in your face. Promise me, okay? Personal experience tells me Gumshoe should be careful what he wishes for. Oh. <laughs> Swing! Yeah! Wait, what? This poor man is so traumatized. I, I don't want to see a whip ever again, my wife, pal. Aww. <laughs> we, we need to send Von Karma home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This poor man. What do you have to say about yourself? <laughs> I look good. I think I've lost some weight, pal. It's only All wishful right. thinking. I think this is the same dialogue as before. Yeah. Wishful thinking, huh? In that case, I wishfully to think I've lost some weight. I wishfully think he might face the facts one day. Aww. Lately, I've been on the instant noodles only diet, pal. Aww. I have to say about Will. What do you uh, know no, about oh. this? Yep, okay. okay. Lotta! <laughs> uh, if I had a choice, she would be number three on my list of people I don't want to see. I think he said this before, too. Oh, no, no this is new. No, let me say uh, she, she's on number three of people I've been seeing lately. Oh, okay, got it. Because I'm in the number one spot. Don't get all high and mighty on me here. You've taken tumble to second place, pal. Huh? Really? Then who's in first? Miss Von Kong is miles and miles ahead of you in this race. Uh-oh. She's really scary. Right now, Miss Von Kama, you really don't. He's so scared of her that he's whispering now. Aww. <laughs> Aww. What about Juan? I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. I much more like my wom quam series. You ever see Two Broke Girls? Does that oh exist God. in 2015? Right. I don't know. Whatever. But but I know Juan Corita. I know who Juan Corita and Matt and God are. Can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time, so they have this real fiery rivalry with each other. Kind of like you and me, pal. Okay, yeah, that's the same as you said. Yeah, I never knew he thought of me as a rival. Is this the same thing? Oh, hey, no, why don't we let bygones different. be bygones, pal? Look, this guy's guilty. A buck says so. One dollar? Sure you're not talking about Pearl's allowance money? I, I can't pay more than that. My salary, it's... It doesn't matter what we think. I still have to defend Mr. Unguard in court or else. Mr. Nick? Uh, I guess Mr. Nick. Yeah. Pretty so far of a question, you expect a follow-up. Right. <laughs> I thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Yeah, even with the helmet off, I thought that she was an alien, pal. <laughs> I think that's probably best kept to yourself, if you know what I mean. 
I mean, same, but let's not speak of this again. Right? All right, Von Karma. She's like a wild beast let loose in the asphalt jungle. A beast? She's more dangerous than a starving tiger. She's a fierce one, pal. Is she mad because she lost two cases? Mad? She's more than mad. She's furious. Now we just gotta get Edgeworth back in here. We'll have the fast and the furious. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> the precinct is barely holding on. Thanks to her, now I know what being half dead really means. It really makes you feel like you're almost a shambling zombie. All I know is when I'm around her, I always check for the emergency exits. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> this woman needs to calm the hell down. <laughs> uh, she's a teenager. Yeah. Still no excuse for running around with a whip and nearly killing people. No, I know. I'm just saying. It's like everyone's terrified. <laughs> she's a teenager. Exactly. <laughs> All, All right. right cause, cause of, of death. death. Do you know what was the cause of death? More like what wasn't the cause of death, pal. Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet because it never actually comes out, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? Yeah, here's your picture. Oh, wow. There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal, that's some murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. It looks like they're pretty sure the metal. <gasps> Pardon me, pal, I've been sleepy. And it looks like they're pretty sure the Mr. On God's Prince, pal. That's bad. Real bad. Alright, crime photo added to the court record. Photo of Juan Corrida's murder scene. Do we want to quickly take a deeper look at it? Oh, I already clicked on uh, reason for arrest. Oh. Oh, no problem. Uh, but double, double back. Reason I mean, we for still rest. could if we just go to the court record. Oh, yeah, we're there now. So let's see. Crime photo. Let's see. So we got things already open. Shattered. Yep. Glass there. Yep. Yeah, it definitely Not... got wet. So it was closed. Um, yeah. When that that vase fell and broke. Yep. And he, was pro he probably poured himself a glass of... You know, it probably, I, I really want to say it was wine in the original version, but <laughs> I would not put it past this game for it to no. still have been tomato juice in the original. No, it it's tomato juice in the original. Oh my god. Okay. But he probably poured himself a glass of tomato juice and was going to get ready to uh, do his makeup or so, like finish his makeup or something. Because it's possible whoever stabbed him could have stabbed him over the shoulder. Yeah. But anyway, Ugh. yeah. Either way, so that, that base definitely broke before the guitar was stolen. Right. Let's see, we got the knife in his chest. Well, let's really see about this. Oh, the, the button is missing. The one that was probably found in, um... What's-his-face is a comma. So... Wait, what? Where the, where the knife wound is the stab what about a hakama though remember they said that the button was found in his uh his pants of his costume his hakama who said that a lot of no um unguard did he said that i do not remember this yeah he said it okay yeah he, he like, said what? i think he said when they searched him that it was found in his pants and that's oh. why they arrested oh yeah him. That, okay duh yeah. Okay, that's right. We don't have uh, it in evidence, but... Right. He did mention it. Yeah, that scarf is normal, right? Scarf looks normal, I guess. I mean, I don't really see anything off about it. Uh, I was just... Admittedly, when, the, uh, when, we, when we first showed up, I was like, Okay, we got the knife, and is there anything else weird about this? Scarf? Did he get strangled? What? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe I'm remembering things wrong. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, he could have uh, been. Right. Um, actually, what's the picture for the... Oh, yeah, we have the guide map, too. Hotel guide map. 
Okay. The hall, the lobby. Oh, wow, oh, that's this a, is... That's the nickel samurai. We don't have a picture of the jammin' samurai right now. The jammin' so. ninja? Yeah, whatever, jammin' ninja. The jammin' jelly? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so he why was, was, why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Death. What? I said he probably was Jam and Jelly because he's uh, because of Ungar's success. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, uh, why... I speak ill of the dead. <laughs> why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence. Looks like the victim Huang Kui a really put up a big fight. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, his button came off. Mr. Ungard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his Hakama? But that's not all. What? That was a witness, pal. A witness? Wh who is it? That lady, Miss Old Bag. Please, anyone but her? The prosecutors has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vic was that's a little off. Something that's a little off? As in... As in, that's for you to figure out, pal, although it's probably the tomato juice that we already figured out. But anyway. Right. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Oh. Is that the receiver? Yes. Guess who's back? Nope, not the receiver. Oh no, it's it's Von Karma. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. I gotta get the hell out of here. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened the last time. Sh sorry, I gotta make myself scarce. Well, later, pal. Yow! Too late. <laughs> At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Vite. Uh, would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Ow! Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you dare run a face, Gruffy McTrenchcoat! Ah! I didn't think the detective of this country could be this pitiful. Wah! Detective, come over here for a second! Yow! I feel better knowing at least that you have been man enough punishment. He was so scared he just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Vite, you, you have sold my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Victory is yours is... Is that all this means to you? V what? Humph! <laughs> Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yeah, sure. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow! What did she throw at me now? What is this? Well, I guess this means I've got to get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, all right? Chief says he misses you and how much you seem to be invested in the blue badger. <laughs> and if you can, try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. What? Oh no, just me laughing at the the chief. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe, he didn't deserve any of that. <laughs> oh, that's where it went. Okay, the thing's on the table. The, uh, the thing that she threw. Oh, that- oh, the thing she threw? Yeah, it's on the table. Oh, now I see it. Okay. Yeah. 
Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Karita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see how it says to my dearest Wendy in more normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing! It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. That's right, I watch Peter Pan. Right? <laughs> Mr. Corita's autograph added to the court record. Juan Corita's autograph to my dearest Wendy is written on it. Alright, well at least we can use this on old bag. Yep. Okay, hi- oh, right, we stopped to investigate on guard's room. Yeah. Well, then... okay, do we want to- because I can tell you right now, we can deal with- with, uh, uh, um, old bag. So do you want to deal with old bag first, or do I take a look at on guard? I want to go take a look at his- at on guard's hotel room. Okay, okay, because on guard's then... hotel room. Because then we can maybe knock out Lada and, um, Old bag. <laughs> I don't know why when you said knock out lot, I just imagine. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? Right? <laughs> Y'all hit like a sissy, you know that? <laughs> 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 Let me show you how a real girl throws a punch. <laughs> All right. Like, no Marsh wonder you stick to. No wonder you stick to defending. Your attack sucks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with 12 brothers. I know how to throw a punch. <laughs> I also know how to perform a chokehold, a suplex. <laughs> she, and I know she moonlights and I know in MMA. Truly, huh? <laughs> Is it she moonlights in MMA? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't ever like to use it, but if desperate times call for desperate measures, I can, get, I can poke a man's eyes out. Damn. Damn, girl, you scary. <laughs> All right. <laughs> March 21st, yeah. Gatewater Hotel, Ungar's hotel room. Oh, wait, he had he had a meal with, um, okay, so he had a meal with his manager, it looks like. So she was here, or whoever. Someone was here the whole time with him. I don't know if it's a woman or a man. What was it, a T-bone steak? Oh, my God, the T-bone steak. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ungar's dressing room. This is our client's room. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll let you take this one. Think okay. calm. Is it a man or a woman? Femal. It's, Just it's think a... calm. Calm? Yeah, but... like, uh, if I were to try and pinpoint it, I'd say think, uh, Vasquez, only not scary. Okay. All right. May I help you with something? Oh, look at her! She's adorable! Right? Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. On Guard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? I think it's a fitting voice, don't you? I, I, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, it works, it works. <laughs> you were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow, we should hire her! Right? It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ungard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, all right. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Okay, well, let's ignore you in favor of looking at things. <laughs> I want to look at this sword on the couch. Oh, we can't look at the trident. Down I know, I checked that sword. first. <laughs> <laughs> There's some samurai-looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket-looking thing is called a happy... Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. She would have stolen Maya, it by now. I was about to say, Maya would be trying to steal it. Exactly. All right. Um, and it is, it is mm. a happy. So, uh, okay, not this window. 
Um, let's go with the food. Just Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. Oh shit. Hmm. Hold up. Okay, I looked at the wrong plate. Okay. A little a dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. On Guard and Miss Andrews' plates. Looks like they had T-Bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-Bone steaks? Damn it, it's back! Right? <laughs> Alright, the other yeah. plate that apparently you looked at first. There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I... I don't like me. What? There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. He just, like, quickly takes a little bit of the sauce on his finger and licks it. Nah, the sauce tastes good, so what's wrong with it? Falls asleep. Sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Again! Alright, the bedroom. That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here! Okay, same. Okay. Uh, suitcase. <laughs> May I just say? Huh? Uh, especially despite how on guard seems. Damn, those are some really nicely made beds, given that they had to have stayed overnight. Well, at least... Well, Andrew looks like she's the type to probably make the bed. That after waking or, up. um... Housekeeping already came by. Right. I mean, I guess, yeah, they could have let him in. Because I personally, at my hotel, never let... I didn't let housekeeping come in. I just gave him my towels, and that was it. Yeah. If I'm not staying for a long time, then normally I won't let housekeeping come by. But, um... <laughs> If I'm staying weirdest. for like a week or something, then you know I'll put my I'll like hide my stuff somewhere or something, and then have them come in. Yeah, I've only ever taken one legit vacation. Let me say, staying in a hotel for a week was fucking nice. It's fine. Like, I well, I also like shelled out for a king size bed and a hot tub. So <laughs> ah. Because, yeah, you know, I got in. a brand new credit card at the time. It's like, let's spend everything I have on it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I have stayed in quite a few different hotels. I'm, most, I'm used to, like, motels in my life, so that was the only time I've ever actually stayed in a hotel. So, it was nice. Uh, I, yeah, no, I've, I've only stayed in a motel one time, and I regret it. With, like, <laughs> everything in my being. Oh my god, I got so sick. Yeah, my family could not afford uh, hotels. Anytime we went to California, it was Motel. Motel 6, typically. Oh, well, everything in California is fucking expensive, so I, yeah. I can't blame you on that one. Um, no, we normally stayed in hotels because, like, um, I'd go with my mom when she would travel for work, and um, work would pay for her hotel because she had to go, so I'd stay with her. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, and then, of course, for my job, they pay for my hotels as well when I have to go, so... Very nice. Yeah. At so... least better, anyway. Better than the alternative. Yes, absolutely. Now, if we have to go somewhere and there are no hotels, then we're probably stuck staying in a motel, but you just, you have to deal, so... Roll with the punches, yep. Yep. Alright, so suitcase. It's probably Mr. Ungar's suitcase. For someone who was only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. I mean, same? So I always overpack. Same. And then, the worst part is, though, is like, even though I overpack, I always forget something I actually need. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm like, you know, it's like, I overpack, I think of everything, but then somehow I always end up forgetting one thing. Like, one time I legit <laughs> forgot a hairbrush. I'm like, how did I do this? <laughs> uh, oops. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? Okay, is that everything? Uh, I Looks think like so. It. All right. Hello, Miss Andrews. Have my badge. If I could do, like, a British accent, I probably would have given her a British accent. But I can't, so it's not I happening. I see that. I mean, if we really want to, we could try and see if uh, our Adrian is available to do a female voice. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're probably Just... not going to be on for much longer, so... Yeah, no. Nah. Uh, but... I just suddenly thought that that would be hilarious. Just Mr. Deep Voice Adrian. Right? Just trying to do a female voice. That'd be funny. It would be pretty hilarious. All right, how about my badge? 
Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Do you want to see my Pokemon card collection? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's my jam. Right? She's like totally into that. <laughs> you were the one the taking. I'm on, I'm on the uh, press conference card. Okay. You were the one yep. taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ungard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. You're right, she is playing with a card. Hmm? I said you were talking about, do you want to see my, po uh, my Pokemon what? cards or whatever? And I'm like, she's playing with oh. a card. <laughs> <laughs> I think I this is a cloister, right? Yeah, right? This, this is my, uh... <laughs> This is my ultra rare cloister card. Do not steal. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. Okay, How about radio this transmitter? transceiver. Nope. Okay, Nothing the camera. On the camera. Nope. Nothing on the guide map. Nope. Nothing on the wine glass. Nope. Nothing on the guitar case. Nothing Sonograph. on the photo. Okay. Nope. Okay. All right, how do you have to say about our friend Maya? We miss her. Nope. How about the slow girl next to us? No. Nope. How about the detective? No. Ah, here we oh, go. Oh, Will. Oops, I skipped through it. Hold on. Uh, she says, that's Mr. Will Powers. I'll He's just go back to it. I got it. Okay. Okay. That's Mr. Will Powers. He's an actor contracted with Global Studios. He's a very nice man. A man with a good heart. But that's all he is and ever will be. Ouch. Uh, what a horrible thing to say! Society doesn't care about genuinely nice people, Mr. Wright. Huh? For a second, her face twisted in pain. I wonder if something happened to Miss Andrews. Okay. Lotta. Who, pi who pissed on her salad? Right? Who pissed in her Cheerios? Okay. <laughs> Did you know the victim, Mr. Corita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about a thrivery with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Carita was killed. Okay, How about what about that? Client? I asked to become Mr. En ah, Mr. Engard. I keep wanting to say Engard. Okay. <laughs> I asked to become Mr. Ungard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Hmm, Mr. Ungard does seem like a rather will we weak willed man. Will weaked. I just dyslexia the <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> will weakden. <laughs> well yeah, Will Weakden. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does seem like a rather weak willed man, always doing as he's told. He's always saying my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Cool. Okay. How about Old Bag? Yeah. Nope. How about Von Karma? Nope. All nope. right. All right. Night of the Madder. Yes. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? I yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> when the award show was starting, I headed for a view of the hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ungard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. How about right, your relation? relation to Unguard. Um, so about you and... Stop right there. 
You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ungard and I are related, are you? S sorry I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Why does she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a show to help you relieve your stress later, all right? Aww. Aww, pearls! So precious. <laughs> I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim Mr. Karita have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you juice later, alright? Aww. They help each other. Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Alright, motive for murder. Do you have any ideas? As Is it to... sad that... Hmm? Is it sad that I think the two of them have seemed to have a healthier relationship than Nick and Maya? Yes. <laughs> because Nick and Maya are just assholes to each other. <laughs> but the funny thing is I actually kind of like that dynamic sometimes. Yeah, they're just they're they're like siblings who just always bicker. Exactly. Also, I have to say I really like um uh Adrian's shirt. I'm into oh, yeah. the the like sleeveless turtleneck look. Right. That is that is like my thing. <laughs> Not to mention like is it just merely like skin tight sleeveless turtleneck? Oh, it's very nice. Like you can freaking see that uh, the collarbone. Yes. Like damn. Anyway. Oh no, this this woman's very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As to why Mr. Karita was murdered, why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? Oh no, another one. Oh god, she also has four. God damn it. <laughs> Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a psych lock, Mr. Nick? Yes! There's getting to be more and more of these lately. Fucking tired of it. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here, ma'am. Oh, wait, herself. What oh, do you have to say uh, about yourself? Oh, she's 23. Unguard's uh, manager, an intelligent woman who seems to have it all together. I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. Is it sorry? Take away that layer of sarcasm, she really does seem to hate herself. Alright. Okay, that's that's it for all that, I guess. So now, um... Back to Old Bag. Oh, yeah, there's something going on feeling... in Viola Hall, apparently. Oh, yeah, okay. What's going on March in here? March 21st, Gaywar Hotel, Viola Hall. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, oh, Mr. Powers! Have you been here the entire time? Yes, I was taking a nap in the back. I should know better <laughs> given the last time I took a nap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Literally the last time I took a nap. I've been nervous as hell to do so ever since. Aww. Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. At least we get to have showers, so that's something. Aww. Oh, poor Will. <laughs> Why is he technically connected? I mean, he didn't do anything. He was with us. Why are we allowed to go home? <laughs> because I'm still employed by Global Studios, technically. Oh, Poor Will. Okay, how about our badge? Attorney's Will? bad. Ah, uh, I really owe you one. It's okay, yeah, the same. same thing. Yeah. Magatama. Sorry. Thanks for taking the time to show it to me. Okay. Okay. Um, they called this so suddenly that something about it just seems off, you know? You mean the press conference? Yeah, he said there's something I'd like to confess if I win. I heard he faxed his request for... Okay, yep, only yesterday. Yeah, that was the same. Okay. Yep. Okay, even though it should say two days ago, given that yesterday was said yesterday, so... Right. Whatevs. I can't believe it. A kidnapping. Do you remember what the person looked like who gave this to you? It was that bow boy, and... And I didn't suspect a thing because he looked like a, such a normal old man, minus the giant zipper running down his face. Exactly! 
I'm like, <laughs> he needs to get that shit looked at. <laughs> I mean, like, who doesn't have a zipper down their face these days, right? Right? It's the latest <laughs> trend. You know, it's like 15 years ago, men were all getting Prince Albert's piercings. And, oh my God. you know, nowadays it just gets zippers on their faces. I mean, I'm sure it's a cool fad. It's the hip new thing. Yeah. I, I know trends amongst the kids these days. Old man, I huh? All right, how about the camera? No. Nope. I say kids these days, and I myself am only 24. <laughs> right? Will does Although not look 24, though. No, but also, to be fair, that's exactly what a 24-year-old would say. Right. All right, the guitar case. Like, oh, I'm getting so old now. Right? It, it, okay. That guitar case, that was Juan's. I'm guessing you've seen this case before? Pretty famous by now. It stands out because it holds THE bright red guitar. The bright red guitar? The Jammin' Ninja's signature item. Well, if the guitar is so important, how could he forget it for the award ceremony? That does seem a little strange. Again, someone stole it. <laughs> it would be nice if y'all would figure that shit out by now. <laughs> Nothing okay, about he the crime photo. How about the, about the photo? Nothing for the autograph. How about Maya? All right, I'm sure he won't hurt her, and he'll let her go soon. Yeah. Mr. Wright, I believe in you. You will save her. Thanks. How about Pearl? So Maya's little okay, sister. Okay, this is the same the whole thing. Little sister thing. Okay, Gumshoe. Nada. Yourself. My face really that scary. Okay. This is the same, yeah. Yep. How about Lada? Lada. Nope. Nope. Juan. He debuted around the same time as Matt and everything, you know. Really? It started out small. Okay, yep. This whole thing, their whole competition ongoing. Yeah, the bowling tournaments and all that stuff. <laughs> Matt's younger than me, but you can practically see his star potential. His star potentiale? Yeah, this is the same. Yeah. You can't figure out a way to mispronounce potential. Oh, wait. The end is new, though. Oh, shit. I missed it. That's okay. Um, go. Yeah, we'll just go back. Okay. Okay. I got his autograph the other day. Feels kind of wrong now, doesn't it? I don't care what people say. Matt didn't kill Juan. I know he didn't. Okay. Old bag. I never would have thought I'd see her here, of all places. Last time we saw each other was during that really bad incident, you know? Then I've had like three nightmares of her since. Aww. I mean, when I look back now, I think of the good things, so it's not so bad, I guess. Yeah, I would love to go back in time and relive a few of those good things. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, I guess not. How about Von Karma? Nope. Yeah, he, would, he wouldn't have a reason to know her. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little while. Uh, for a little bit. Just a little. Hmm, so Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her know her, you know? <gasps> There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Ah, if you're interested, I'd be glad to share what I know. He's so happy, he looks like a lion that's just found his next meal. Well, I guess we opened up some dialogue, yay. Yay! Alright, right, the Nickel Samurai. I think this first one's you. Oh, it is me. It? My bad, sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> no problem. Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's a sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. Naruhodo. <laughs> <laughs> this time, there are three Samurai brothers. Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course, the Nickel Samurai. It's a love, it's a love why in Neo Tokyo. I see. Well, wait. A love what? A love why. This girl, Sayo, works at a tea shop, and all three guys fall for her at the same time. Oh, 
I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Oh, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> I always <laughs> just heard the term and never realized it myself. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. Oh, oh dear. Strawberry Shortcake built up an army. Look out. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an unusual situation. Like <coughs> Romeo and Juliet times three. Y yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um... Yes, Pearl? Well, what happens next? I want to know! Masayo, does Masayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Is it with the Illumin Samurai? Because that's my OTP now! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Nick! You're all hat! Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday at 8. I'm gonna stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week! Wait, I can't Santa believe... Right. I can't believe she's really considering it. Wait, no, there was a really important episode this week. Dang it. <laughs> okay, week after next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Jam and Ninja. Oh, no, a <laughs> Oh, man. So, what's the Jam and Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie. <sighs> Shit. To tell you the truth, the Jam and Ninja, like the Samurai shows, is geared towards kids. Oh okay, yeah, the yeah, scarf, scarf is part of his outfit. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall, but became a big pop star anyway. Uh, what? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> he was a really lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. But boy could he sing. With this trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. Uh, a ninja. With a bright red guitar. And then the final fight in front of his beloved Princess Misola. German versus the Muramachi Five. Oh my god. Is that a Dragon Ball reference? <laughs> Friggin' Murasaki Five. Fucking Red Ribbon Army Saga. Are we serious? <laughs> Capcom's really pulling out all the stops. Oh my god. Or the localization I, team. Yeah. My friend Haley agreed with me that, God, Murasaki just needed to die. Huh. <laughs> anyway. Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not-so-jammin'-cold... Uh, not-so-jammin'-cold the night before Battle 3. Aw, oh, that's too bad for him. Okay, but, like, how can he battle if he's a shit ninja? Right? Yeah, but this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. And here we go. Yes, Pearl? What? I want to know! Jammin! The Jammin Ninja! Are you able to sing? What about Princess Misala? Every Sunday at 8. Um, what show should I watch? Mm hmm. I can't believe she's really considering it. Pearl, it's okay. It's 2015. We have DVR. Exactly. We, we have Netflix and Hulu. <laughs> at, least okay. I think, at least I think Hulu was around in 2015. Oh, Hulu definitely, yeah. Yeah. Netflix, like I think, wasn't... came around... I mean, Hulu, I think, came around, like, 2013? I think 2015 was actually when it, like, really got big. Okay. But I think it was around a couple years before that. Anyway. All right, Gossip on Adrian. Yes. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip, too. Uh, oh, really? You too, huh? Yeah, so get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of this. <laughs> Looks like a tabloid Miss Oldbag would read. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just randomly thought of, like, because how we're always just throwing our uh, inventory at people. I'm just imagining us as Nick just going, take this, take this, take oh, this, yes, take exactly. this. Oh, yes, exactly. Charge! <laughs> take this, take this. Oh, my God, uh, that would, friggin that's hilarious. Egg Emperor. Yes. Oh, my God. Friggin Eggman always has the most quotable battle lines. Friggin, See? get a load of this, or... 
uh, take this, take this, or you know what they say, the more the merrier. Exactly. <laughs> Can't get away with this. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Jam and Midnight Rendezvous. It's no use. Give up. <laughs> let's not forget, he was the original. It's no use. That's true. That's true. <laughs> to the mysterious yet... Okay, sorry. Were you about to say something? No. Oh, that chuckle sound like you were preparing for a joke. No, I was still laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. You see now, don't you? What? I'm sitting here trying to make a joke, think of a celebrity with the initials A.A., but I can't think of anyone. What the hell? I can't either right now. <laughs> Miss Amand Asante. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You can stop pretending to be in a dark, Mr. Wright. Well, Krita didn't have a manager of his own, which means if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA... Adrian Andrews? Y yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd that woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client? It's Hollywood. You never know what sex scandals are going on. Exactly. Ah, it's that wonderful thing that only- that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy! Pearls is just following along, not having any ideas to why he's smiling. Okay, but me at that age. Right? Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Dude, she's a person. And- and also, let's remember, he wanted to hit that, so... <laughs> All right. I mean, hell, I have no, I, I have no problem being cave buddies with Juancarita. I have no standards. <laughs> okay. I'm very lonely. Oh, <laughs> I love Will. <laughs> All right. A magazine clipping added to the court record. An article let's from present. the tabloid Gossip Land. All right, let's present to him. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but you just okay. gave it to us. Who All are right. you? Well, thanks, Will. Appreciate Hotel you. Lobby. I love that you can still see, like, her breathing because of the fog on the jar head. Right. Should we wait to do all of these until next time? Because it's already 11.44. I will tell you, Old Bags is nice and simple. Is it? It's really simple. Alright, we'll do hers then. Maya's Magatama. simple because she's simple. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what you witnessed? Let me, are you at that point? Yeah. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, tell us what you saw. But, oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun with you at you youngin's expense. I am a little devil after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? All right, I'll give you what you want. The autograph? Yeah. Take that! The, the, that's, that's Juan's autograph. Yes, it is. And, and he even says to my dearest Wendy on it. Th that's me, right? Right? Um, yeah. My name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy, but somehow I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. Uh, I can't let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. Then how about exchange? Wow, she must really want this autograph. That's what you My meant by it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. God damn My it. Offer isn't my offer isn't good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Wright, you win. When the old bag ranger open up her heart. It'll be all right. All for my dear swan. Oh my god. Really? That was it? <laughs> that was it. Damn. I'm like, okay, if we're ending this, then we have to end on that note. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> also, I did get the open your heart joke. 
Thank you. I, right. I knew you. You being the sonic nerd that you are, I knew you would. <laughs> Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. Ugh, dearest. And that's a good part to call it a quits. <laughs> All right. We don't want to actually ask her what she witnessed now that we've done that. Nah, I figure leave that for our opening next time, because that'll start us on, like, the other locks and all that, so. There's more? Uh, I mean, like, Adrian and Lana. And oh, got it. Okay. I was like, she's gonna have more? <laughs> she's gonna hit us twice in a row? She'll have six next time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, Alright, well, so I'll go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm saving on that actual. Well, yeah. I'll save it on the regular screen. You know me, I uh, save like 800 times in a row anyway. Huh? I save a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for this stream that still somehow went for like two hours or something. Yeah, it's friggin' almost midnight. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> We both have to be up early. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Sorry. I have a meeting tomorrow. <laughs> we we will... We should be able to, like... The only reason we started so late tonight was entirely 100% my fault. So... It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh... We should hopefully be able to stream earlier tomorrow. Yeah. So... Anyway, that being said, I hope everyone has a good night. Hope everyone does well. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, Zuls. Adios.